Okay, here's an interesting <laughs> factoid. <laughs> here's a report uh, by, by the OMB, Office of Management and Budget. It says that billionaires have an income tax rate of 8%. <laughs> I mean, somebody making you know $65,000 pays 22%. Billionaires pay only 8.2% on taxes. See, they figured out a way. And that's why when, when people say, oh, all this money goes to poor people, that's nonsense. <laughs> no, more goes to rich people. Look at if they paid uh, taxes like the poor, they'd be paying a lot more taxes and we wouldn't be in debt, right? So that's one thing. Uh, now that's interesting. Okay, also, there's so many government programs that are really set up for the poor, but they don't have like... Uh, income requirements or they don't have, um, what do you call it, asset requirements or whatever, like food stamps. There are a whole bunch of states that it doesn't matter. You can be a millionaire and still get food stamps. Actually, you could be a millionaire and, and get $10,000 to train for a new job. You could get million, you could be a millionaire and, and get uh, money for unemployment because you don't have a job. Yeah, and But you have a million dollars sitting in the bank, they still give you unemployment money. <laughs> like me, I get Social Security money. And and I'm making more than I need, tell you the truth. That's why we give uh, grants back to our members because don't, we really don't need all the money that we're making. So <laughs> we give it back to members. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm sure most people don't do that. Uh, but that's good. So, and, and, and actually my social security money, I, I'm 80, so I get social security. I give that and grant money to local uh, co community colleges uh, for, for uh, scholarships. You know, because they could use it more than I can, okay? So that's it. So when people say, oh, all this money goes to poor people, that's nonsense. It goes to millionaires. Uh, we spend more time <laughs> you know, increasing millionaires than we do <laughs> uh, getting people out of poverty. Now, here's some data. This is like the millionaire data. Or, or actually, this is uh, people in poverty. Okay, in uh, 2011, it was uh, 44 million and it went down to 42 million in 2020. Okay, now, if you look at millionaires, how many millionaires? Okay, after the depression back then in 2008, we had 10 years ago in 2011, we had 7.5 million heirs, 7 million, 500,000 millionaires in the country. Now we have almost 12 million, 11.6. Uh, That's an increase of 50% in millionaires, okay. So we increased the amount of millionaires in our country in the last 10 years by 50% and decreased the amount of poor people by 5%. So 5% versus 50%. And this is what that graph looks like. Like over the last 10 years, uh, the number of <laughs> new millionaires we created, you know, is 50%. And see, all these programs that if you're rich, you don't have to pay taxes. There's so many tax advantages. See, that's right. The rich people get their grants through the tax system. Okay. So you and I have to pay taxes, right? Then we get grants back, uh, you know, taxes. So whether it's to pay rent and things like that. Okay, the rich people, okay, what they do, instead of giving the money to, they don't have to give them, they don't have to pay taxes, see? So they're getting, to me, that's a grant because you and I have to pay for the defense department because they're not paying their share, right? <laughs> so that's like giving you a grant, but they don't need money. So they say, oh, well, you don't have to pay us. You know, no, that's silly, I think. <laughs> If everybody doesn't pay, then we can't run the government, right? So whether we should or not, that's another issue. Uh, but they certainly uh, pay lower, lower tax rate than us. I mean, like, you know, who is it? Warren Buffett. You know, his tax rate is lower than his secretaries. You know, I mean, that's where, see, the rich people learn the system because they have lobbyists that go to the Congress and, and put things in the tax system that make rich people more money and they don't have to pay taxes, okay? <laughs> so that's how they get their tax back. And then they complain about having to give money to poor people. Shit, man, we have to give money to rich people. <laughs> if they pay the taxes like the rest of us, <laughs> then we wouldn't be in debt. But that's a personal opinion. But it seems like we live in a country now where it's uh, we spend more government money making millionaires into billionaires than we do helping people in poverty. And I don't know about you, but isn't that the Christian way? <laughs> Shouldn't we help poor people? <laughs> I guess it's not the American way, though, is it? 
But again, that's a, a biased opinion. Uh, but it, it's important to know about the government program. See, that's why everybody said, oh, I'm guilty using government program. Man, you're guilty using government program. We give, we're giving programs to billionaires. <laughs> What's wrong with the government program? I mean, it's stupid to say every government program is just for people who don't need it. <laughs> Probably for billionaires, that's true. <laughs> but we give it to them anyway. But somebody who can't eat, man, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounds like money well spent, doesn't it? But as I can say, uh, I'm sure there's other arguments to this, but uh, this is one thing. I mean, just to say all government programs are bad. No, all government programs aren't good. No. <laughs> but to say every government program, you're taking money from the government, you're a welfare queen. Well, we got a lot of millionaire welfare queens. We got a lot of billionaire welfare queens <laughs> out there. And they're probably not even queens. <laughs> That's a joke in there somewhere. But this is why we, we even get, and uh, one way what we do in not paying taxes is give money back to our members. So we give money back to our members. We give over $75,000 every month now because that's what you gave us that became profit. Uh, and so we give it back to you because you're the one supporting. So you're like our investors. So we have to pay you back <laughs> as investing in us to keep this thing going. So thank you for your help keeping this going and we'll keep giving money back. $75,000 every month and you just apply very easy. Just one sentence on what you need money for and you're in the ball game. <laughs> and there's like, uh, I think about 2,600, 2,500 people got money from us already that we gave back either $500 or $1,000 and can't wait to do it more. So let me help you too, okay?